opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Shaw Cable Systems or of the station. Through our access policy, we provide the opportunity for community groups and individuals to express their points of view. Welcome to the uh, show where it's two bearded guys and a dude with a mustache. It's going to be a great show. Sports Talk on Shot TV. I'm Brandon Hall. Joining me today, we're, we're going to have Mark Smith later on. Uh, he's from Golden West Radio. Right now, uh, we've got uh, Matt Gorley, Sports Times Herald, and uh, Patrick Boyle, City Council, and of course, uh, PA announcer part time, right? Or full time. Or uh, I, you know, I take gigs where I can. I like that. That's good. A working man. So, guys, uh, before we get going, I'll just like to thank our, our home for season. Two shot in HD, by the way, guys. <laughs> like that. Uh, we like to thank the Great Western Lounge at Mosaic Place. And again, if you like the show, have any suggestions, ideas, Shaw TV wants to hear from you. You can email mjshawtv at shaw.ca. Phone 691 7395. Like us on Facebook or go to uh, uh, Twitter. You can tweet us at Shaw TV Moose Jaw. So, all right. So, this is kind of the sports announcer show. We're going to dub it. And uh, we, we've got Matt. Let's start with you, of course, a hardcore sports fan, correct? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. All right, so take us through. How did you get into the media side of things? I went through journalism school, and I uh, actually started out working in news. And actually, in university, I also was doing a bit of arts entertainment reporting. But uh, I also covered uh, men's college basketball at the U of R. That kind of got me into that side of things when I was in university. And there was an opening here when uh, Corey Wolf went to Saskatoon Star Phoenix. And so it seemed like <laughs> right? something yeah, I, <laughs> oh, Wolf's a good guy. Yeah, so once uh, once there was an opening here in Moose Jaw at this time, Cheryl, uh, it's a really great sports town. and. So it's like something I'd be interested in trying, and uh, now 12 years later, I'm, yeah. I'm still at it. So That's good. Great. And then for you, you got into the political side of things, but you still come back and you enjoy. How, how did you get into uh, PA announcing? Uh, it's kind of funny. I was, you know, in the same chair, sort of as Gurley at one point in time, going to broadcasting school, and uh, I wanted to be... You know, sports broadcaster, and then I turned to what they call the dark side now, as really <laughs> looks at me wrong. But uh, and got into communications and uh, you know media relations type of things. But I've always um, you know loved doing local events, sporting events, and things like that. And uh, while I was going to Sate, uh, we did hockey games and stuff. And then got a phone call from an uh, old coach of mine, Dave Green, and said, "Hey, would you be interested in announcing some football games?" And me being a football fanatic, I said, "Absolutely." Right. So uh, you know, it was a pleasure getting out there and doing that. That's right. I, I, my producer just telling me you're a Packers fan. Is that is that true? Oh, diehard, absolutely. Yeah. As am I. So that's that's Th good. This is this is why we. Yeah. I'm a Packers fan work. too. Well, this is all mm, Packers. Yeah. Well. No, I'm not. Actually, I'm a Bengals fan. So you can make fun of me. So I, that's, that's, that's. These are nice guys. You just get <laughs> razz big time. My I just, I, pres I yeah. respect the Bengals. Yeah. I mean, that's a good team to cheer for. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you said the Bungles, which. Uh, no. Hey, good times or bad, the Packers were awful when I started cheering for them. So, you never know. It comes around. Yeah. Hey, just keep your chin up. <laughs> They made the playoffs last yeah, year. They sure did, actually, a couple of years prior to. So. Well, and no convictions of players, so that's good. <laughs> I, I like that, guys. Uh, what I've noticed between uh, us three, we've got deep voices. Is that, is that something, is that how you got pushed into, uh, hey, you guys got great voices. You should be a, a sports announcer or you should go into my, media. My lack of a great voice and my kind of ability to mumble is kind of why <laughs> I ended up writing in print and don't need to pronounce very often. So, But it's deep, though. It's manly. I guess so. I, <laughs> It's got the Barry White it's, thing. It's like, yeah. Hey, I'm girly. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's let's talk about media in, in, in well, sports media in a smaller town. Uh, pros and cons. You like coming to Moose Jaw, like you said, it's a great sports town. What are the pros and cons? Uh, the pros, I mean, it's a, it's a great town. There's a lot of people really involved with the community. The coaches that have been here, a lot of them have been here a really long time. And I've been here at the point now where we see some really great athletes who are coming back and are getting into the coaching side of things. And it just keeps, because their coaches, the coaches and the mentors they had were so strong, they have that really great conviction to come back and give back to the community. Mm -hmm. As far as the negative side, it's, it's very small. There's no anonymity. Uh, it's, it's a case you get probably every city I've heard. Is there's always... People think you have biases towards different right. things, different schools, different areas, things like that. So that's always a, something, and uh, that's probably really, really one of the only negatives of being in a small town. Well, how about you, Patrick? Because uh, of course you're in the uh, media or the the political side of things, so you know people have come to you and have told you what they think and feel about Moose Jaw. How about the sports side of things? Uh, you know, having grown up here and played sports here and um, been part of that, 
there's there's a lot of positive and negatives, but you know, I think the one thing we need to work on, and this is part of my, you know, strategy, is just to grow Musha and get bigger, and then you see more kids playing sports, and it gets bigger, and it's just more of a community in there. Um, I think it's great to see more teams in Moose Jaw, particularly in the high school football, when you have Yorkton and Weyburn. And we didn't have that when I was growing up. You know, it was actually contracting, and we had lost Karenport. And the league was not looking in uh, very good shape. So that sort of changed. So that's, you know, something really good to see. Right. Growing up, what was your sport? Like, to, uh, we didn't catch that. Football. 100%. Football. Yeah? 100% diehard. I played for the Central Cyclones and uh, put my time in there. And peewee football and bantam football here. And then... Um, you know, didn't get past that and went, actually went into coaching and myself and coached for seven, eight years in uh, Alberta and then coming back and they're still, you know, coming back here and seeing guys like Ryan Gotts, like who, you know, played here and had a lot of success in the province and now he's giving back just exactly what, uh, what Matt said here. So it's really good to see those things. Right. Linebacker or some kind of offensive, force that hit people? Or, offensive yeah. lineman. Yeah, I went both ways my senior year of, uh, of high school. and. Right uh, yeah, so I played hockey as well and, and soccer at a pretty competitive level, but uh, I kind of outgrew those sports and <laughs> ended up playing football most. It was my best sport by the by the end of my high school days. Good. Well, you guys are doing great on camera here. I know coming from print or behind a mic, uh, do you like, especially now, right, you're in front of a camera a lot, a lot do you like doing stuff like this? Uh, you know, anytime uh, I think we can, for me, to talk about sports and get here with you guys is... Uh, I'll absolutely, I'll do it every single time. It's a lot better than talking about, you know, my day job or what you do. <laughs> so coming here and talking about whatever it is to do with sports is is right up my alley. And it's kind of for me getting back to, you know, in front, getting talking yeah. about sports and in front of the microphone and, and getting yeah. out there again. Like that's where the PA stuff I did was just, it was, it was so much fun. That's you know, awesome. I didn't get to do that a lot anymore. So. so what do the parents think of that? You on camera, on the big TV screen. Uh... You know, it's funny, a couple times my mom had seen me done interviews, and the first comment she made was, your pants are too short. <laughs> uh, you got flood pants on. Is, is your belly growing a little bit there, honey? And I, I just kind of laughed and said, Mom. <laughs> Moms are going to be hard sometimes. Hey, tough uh, audience. All right, so let's, uh, let, let's go on uh, with, uh, um, with media now. Uh, going into uh, next year, 2013, is going to be huge. Uh, for Saskatchewan, the profile of, of us, we're, we're going to be hosting, of course, the Great Cup coming uh, late next year. Uh, what uh, what should Regina and Saskatchewan do to really beef up this year or, or the next Great Cup? What, what do you think? I don't think they need to do anything. It's been a great event the last couple times I've gone to Regina. Um, the events surrounding it are always well attended. Uh, they had a huge tent on Scarth Street that was sort of a hub of activity. All the different teams and areas have their own parties that are, I mean, it's just a great week of festivities. You've never gone, make sure you do and set aside some time to really see some things. Um, it'll be great to have one last one in Taylor Field. Pardon me, Mosaic Place. I still think it's Taylor Field, but. <laughs> <laughs> it, it always is to me too, absolutely. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it should be a fantastic event and I don't think they need to do too much to, to gl glam it up. They don't need to sell the event, the event sells itself. Right, and how about what what, uh, what can Musha play a role in the next year's Great Cup? What do you think as a city councilor, what do you think uh, uh, Musha could do to beef up its, its presence? Uh, in, in Musha itself, you know, I, I think the beauty of what we have in Saskatchewan in general is that we're, we're a football province, we're a football town, we have one professional sports team, and it's the Riders, and the fact that we're getting the Grey Cup back here um, when, you know, the Riders outsell people every year right. in marketing and everything else, and uh, into Moose Jaw, I think that, uh, you know, we're looking at getting more events like that. Yeah. Um, this facility here, this building, Mosaic Place, is a very good start to that, yes, um, and, you know, we need to work on getting more of those things, like the Grey Cup events. Um, and, I, you know, the Junos are coming, too, and, uh, you know, Moose Jaw will play a role, I hope, in some of that, and I believe there's going to get some events here. But, you know, more things like that. We're close to Regina, but I think we can attract our own uh, different sort of special events. But, you know, the yeah. Grey Cup is one of those things where um, if you have some people who are coming out of town who are going to Regina and do the festivities in the events, book in some time and come to Moose Jaw because this is an absolutely great place to come. Yeah. Walk around downtown, check out what we have to offer. And it's, you know, there's not a lot of cities that have tunnels underneath them with a spa <laughs> and a casino and a brand new rink. So Moose yeah, Jaw, you know, come see us. Yeah, <laughs> the friendly city. Uh, so, uh, great cup. Have you, did you touch the, the cup when it came through on the, the train? Did you? No, I, I'm so one of those guys that doesn't believe you should touch the trophy till you earn it. Don't so touch the cup. Hey, that's <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine what it would take for me to actually earn a cup at this point, but I still don't touch it. It's just the respect <laughs> thing, I guess. Yeah, I, I'm there too. You know, it's just, just from afar. Uh, a couple last questions here. We'll, 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 
we'll go with you, Matt. Here, um, all right. Let's let's talk about um, the the Grey Cup musical lineup this year. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, what was it slated? Justin Bieber or Bieber? Bieber, Carly Rae Jemsen, uh, Marianas Trench. I don't even know these names. Uh, what, what do you think of that? The youth movement should have, they have gone with an or a hundredth Grey Cup? You think you more iconic uh, Canadian? Bands. Those are pretty big. I mean. Carly Rae Jebsen might have had the biggest song in the world this year, and Justin Bieber is obviously incredibly famous. So they're pretty big gets to get. It's not really a traditional Grey Cup demographic, uh, you know, like you have the Guess Who or something. But I don't think it's a bad thing. It's certainly going to draw yeah. a younger mm -hmm. audience to the halftime show. I don't know if that gets you a whole lot for the whole game, but right. I'm not really that big <laughs> into the <t> halftime <laughs> show anyway. It's If you're there, it's one thing, but for the TV, uh, it's, it's they're draw viewers, I guess, and they'll do that. Uh, to drive up more uh, Grey Cup spirit too, they went to all the smaller towns with the Grey Cup uh, tour. Was that a good move on on their part? Was it something that you would have voted for if you were on the Grey Cup Council? <laughs> uh, I think so. You know, you have to spread it around. It's nice to have it a, a provincial event yeah. and not just you know stuck in Regina and in, in in that city. So you know, moving around, uh, it's good. Raise awareness of everybody because I mean, yeah. Ryderville is where it's it's right. well, technically it's Avonlea, I think, but it uh, or it's right. <laughs> <laughs> or it's exactly, it's written the heart, so that's what we need. Right. And, you know, on the Justin Bieber front, I think it's fantastic. Oh, I, I couldn't let it go. You know, and I was, in a, yeah. I was a huge fan or believer of this until yeah. you go watch his documentary. And there's one thing that I think you're going to see at this Grey Cup is he'll put on a show, and it's going to be a great show. And the fact that we have, uh, you know, those yeah. artists and those names, the biggest in the world right now, like right. Matt said, coming to Saskatchewan is just a huge thing yeah. for us. So Patrick Boyle uh, endorses Never Say Never. I'm a, believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. He is a believer. I'm a believer. <laughs> Before we go here, uh, Matt, I just, uh, I just want to say thanks for coming by. No and problem. What's up with you? Any uh, projects in the in the future here? What, what's nothing. Going on? Uh, nothing too major. Just uh, obviously, it's a busy busy season, busy time of the year. So it's going to be uh, going to be fun. Uh, yeah. Warrior season's in full swing. And Doing the uh, warrior beat. Absolutely. And so uh, it's been an up and down season so far, but uh, so far yeah. in the playoff mix. So now, do you do the tweet? Twitter I do. Thing? I do. At Matt Gorley. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter. Uh, trying to tweet and blog <laughs> and do all those different things and keep all the balls in the air. So Awesome. And you're on Twitter as well? Oh, we got to you know. follow you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I try to. Yeah. You know, it's probably just my mom who follows me. <laughs> you know, PatB70. <laughs> that's, that's my Twitter handle. Good. So. Before we go, I just want to say congratulations. Your third yes. baby? Yeah. yeah, third. Rosalie. Right on. Rosie Boyle. Oh, well, another future sports talk on Shaw TV <laughs> fan, hopefully. Yeah, all right. Uh, where do you find time before you go? Where do you find time to watch sports in between all of city council and having babies? Uh, you know what? The best thing I have is my iPhone. Is I just yeah, go on and watch go. highlights if I can't catch anything. Excellent. Good. Well, thank you. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. This is spa sports talk on Shaw TV. Easier. Uh, it's hard for me to say, but uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, if you like the show, have suggestions, ideas, uh, hey, we want to hear from you. MJ Shaw TV at Shaw.ca. Like us on Facebook and follow us at Shaw TV. Uh, we'll be back with Mark Smith. It's going to be a good one. Uh, come back. <laughs>